In this tutorial, you'll learn how to add motion blur on an image using Photoshop. For this tutorial, we'll be working on this image over here. Let's start by first duplicating the background layer. After that, we need to make a selection around the objects on which we do not want to apply the blur effect. In this image, we will make a selection around the horses. For that, we will use the pen tool from the toolbar on the left and make an outline around the two objects. After that, simply right-click and click on the Make Selection option from the menu that appears. This will convert the outline into a selection. Now press Ctrl-C on your keyboard to make a copy of the selection and paste it onto a new layer by pressing Ctrl-V. Notice over here in the Layers panel that the selection is appearing in a new layer here. Once we have made a copy of the selection, we will go back to the duplicated background layer, move over to the Filter menu, and select the Blur option from the list. Over here you will see many blur filters. Since we want to apply a motion blur effect, we will choose the motion blur option over here. With that done, a new panel will appear on the screen. Now adjust the distance bar to set the intensity of the blur filter on the image. We will use 43 pixels for this image. You can also set the angle for the motion blur by rotating the icon here or manually entering the angle in the field. Notice that since we made a rough selection in the beginning of the video, there are some areas around the object which are not blurred out. This is because the object layer is above the background area. So let's pick up the eraser tool and remove the unwanted areas. Be sure to pick up a soft eraser tool since we don't want sharp edges to be left out in the layer. Furthermore, we will be using 75% for the opacity. Work extremely carefully around the edges when working with the eraser tool. At the end, you'll end up with something like this, a simple motion blur effect applied in Photoshop. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.